Well, it's going, it's, it's not just us, it, they hit the Midwest, yep. this, well, yeah, well, this particular storm, and now they're saying, I heard on NPR, Washington, D.C. is bracing for No, yeah. so we haven't had storm. anything like they've been having. They've no. been having the oh, yeah. real no. winter. This is, this is not. This is nothing. But this is like our first snowfall this year, like starting January. This is pretty much it for us yeah. here in Reno. We well, haven't had much. Yeah, for the, yeah we had some, we put some walls in December, but... Um, we're 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 glad. We love the skiing and all that. It is a little yucky outside. I'm just tiptoeing through the slush and the nastiness. So, so we have a jam-packed yes, show do. for you guys. Um, we're gonna try and shorten up the news and okay. keep them coming like extra quick for you guys to get as much as you can. <laughs> Got a lot. Natalie is here. You have a safety interview. Yes. Um, I have um, a great interview with a gentleman named Johnny Larkins, and he is really quite an amazing gentleman and. He's he's all about. He created an app um, that we're going to talk about, but larger than that, he's really um, taken upon himself to um, talk about safety, women's safety, everyone, um, and how you know just in our community and, and even more how we can stay safe and take care of each other. And, and he's a really great guy. It so is we're gonna have such an awesome him. app. Yeah. After that, we're going to have tech with Ken. After that, we're having a fitness segment. Yeah. Tracy is interviewing Cammy Craig. And then wow. um, we're going to have an SPCA special after that. And then events. Events. Jam packed show today. In. <laughs> um, so uh, I have a little bit. Now, I, you might know. So now, first of all, Hugo Chavez died. Yes, he did. So this is a big deal. But apparently he's still, they're saying he's still giving orders from the grave or whatever. He's still, he does not like America, let's just say. Let's <laughs> put it gone. mildly, yes. Yeah. It's the same because uh, we'll Crocus, see what happens. Crocus, Venezuela was a one is a, it was a beautiful city. Yeah. And uh, it, it's crazy, but he is he is gone. But he is he was a dictator and yeah. he he was very aligned with Castro and that's mm -hmm. where he did all his cancer Serbia, treatments yeah. as we know. Uh, and uh, I mean, he was you know big friends of Ahmadinejad uh, in Iran. So you know mm -hmm. he. Certainly befriended the, the wrong people, well, according to our list of to, yeah, acceptable. But not to him. I, you know, what I heard was that he was so displeased about, he felt that America was after Venezuela's oil, which well, could be true. Well, I mean, the answer is uh, they're the fourth, you know, the fourth largest supplier. Yeah. Right? That, that, so let's be realistic. Uh, you know, you can't deny it. And, and oil is uh, is a very serious commodity. Yeah. And which a lot closer, Venezuela is a lot closer than the Middle East. And yeah. And we'll a lot less, happens. lot less stressful, if you know what I mean. There's not any wars going on. Right. And there's not uprisings. Well, they've so. been supplying Cuba for a long time, and yes. we'll just see how that pans out. It's kind of a big deal, um, just in that shift of power. Right. And I, I'm surprised that the Dennis Rodman story is still making news. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's cool a big there. story. Well, it, it's starting to it's starting to get now. You're starting to get congressmen to weigh in uh, on the whole nine yards, and well. they can say the White House continues to distance itself. <laughs> I don't know what the I don't know why they have to distance themselves. Like Dennis Rodman is Dennis Rodman is Dennis Rodman. You know? All right, Jay. Jay's like, I'm ready for some fun news. All okay, right. you ready for this, Jay? Beer goggles turns out to be a myth, researchers say. Uh, I have some pictures for this. So you're going to have to come up with a better excuse for sleeping with that person who you wish you never met. <laughs> oh, it go. seems that the old beer goggles excuse just won't work. A new study by the UK, um, a university in the UK, um, so there's a long-held belief that alcohol consumption makes a person drop their standards to whom they drop their drawers for. A study um, <laughs> by Dr. Amanda Ellison said that the alcohol doesn't make people look more attractive. It just increases their level of lust. There's no imagined physical, there's no imagined um, physical transformation, just more desire. So alcohol switches off the rational and decision-making areas of the brain while leaving the areas to do with sexual desire relatively intact. Yeah, that mm. is bull. That, you know what, the yeah. whole beer goggles thing is made up by men to get <laughs> some excuse <laughs> for, oh, I wouldn't I would sleep with her normally. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Allison said it's a fluke of nature that the lust selection of the brain, the oldest part, still functions after consumption of alcohol. Okay. Although well, Allison's yeah. um, study suggests booze won't make people look more attractive to you, other studies suggest it can make you more attractive to yeah. yourself. So a French researcher released a paper right, last year right. suggesting yeah. that the more alcohol you think you've had in a day right. will increase your self-confidence in your appearance, even if you haven't had any alcohol. Yes, well, so if you think you're drinking alcohol and somebody just tells you you are, you're going to find yourself more attractive. Well, the lips I'm that confused. touch liquor shall never touch mine. Oh. 
what do you guys think got, about Look at all that? these people. Look, uh, hi, Freddie, hi. We got people. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Billy, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Colin. Uh, when you come to Phil and I farm, Colin, where is your farm? I would love to yeah, come. Yeah, we got it. Dean know. says, yeah. naughty, naughty English yeah. folks. Yeah, yeah that's, well, that's <laughs> right. We love it. Dave needs to. The, 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 those goggles, right? No, no, no. Dave no. needs beer goggles? Yes, just what I, I think I, that beer goggles thing is. Well, so, it's you guys, no more excuses out there. First of all, that's not the point. Uh, You're just more lustful. You right. just want well, I have to laugh. I have <laughs> You're to, more piggish, is what yeah, it is. I, I yes, have to laugh sorry. About that, so. But oink, oink. I think it's all well. Yes, fun news. <laughs> I, have a, I have a ditty, which is, okay. is, is, is kind of, in, in a way, it's kind of an interesting story that. That, that there's a real story behind it, and that is that there was a man uh, in New York, in Rockville Center, New York, which is out on Long Island, that was arrested for laughing. What? Yes, a guy named Robert Schiavelli of Rockville Center uh, was slapped with a summons for disturbing the peace. Police responded to a report on uh, in February 12th and 13th. They received complaints of this extraordinarily loud laughing at an extra neighbor. The 42-year-old <laughs> was charged with acting in such a manner to annoy, disturb, interfere oh, with, Lord. and uh, obstruct, and uh, to be offensive to others. At his arraignment Tuesday, the judge declined to dismiss the charges. Uh, Schiavelli tells uh, the New York Post that the neighbors turned him in uh, because they thought he was taunting, but he really has <laughs> he really has a, a, a neurological disability. Tourette? That makes uh, well, him you know, laugh? Well, there, 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 there is a neurological disability that either makes extreme crying or extreme laughing. So he oh. must have strong stomach muscles then, huh? <laughs> Beats <laughs> sit up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it turns out that unfortunately there there is a, there is wow. a neurological disorder that is right right like that's pretty interesting. Can't help yeah, him. And, so are the is, are the charges going to be dropped now that he they found out he has a neurological have, disorder it, because he's not just a jerk. They shouldn't charge him for that. Well, <laughs> the neighbors would not respond, and the court obviously was not How informed bizarre. of the information. But it's uh, How bizarre. so uh, <laughs> be, be careful. You can get arrested for laughing on Long Island. <laughs> Very interesting. Wow. You can drink and drive, but you can get arrested right. for laughing. Right. Hit a tree. <laughs> so do you guys know that flowers and plants make you way more healthy? Of if you eat them or smell them or look at them. Oh, just they're just in their general presence. <laughs> okay. Or smoke them. If you want to. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, my right, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dave said it. I um, if me. you um if you, they're particularly cleansing they will cleanse the air. They make you have. There's a bunch of different things. So chrysanthemums, you know, the orangey kind of yeah. flowers. They're amazing um, at taking out <clears throat> all different kinds of things out of the air. Benzene, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, gas. They will take that stuff out of the air. If you are your house kind of smells not so great, not so fresh, you should get a peace lily. Peace Ooh. lilies. Uh, so don't spray the air freshener. Just get a peace lily because they Taking actually notes. perfume the air. They're really beautiful. Peace, like peace out, dude. Peace lily. Yeah, they're the peace big. You know, like at Easter they have them, the great big white ones. Okay. Yeah, those are those are beautiful. So if you don't, and they also pull the pollutants out of the air. I'm just giving you these little things. Nice. Bamboo, the palms. You know those bamboo. Yes. They are. They actually will emit moisture. If it's very dry in your house, they can emit moisture back in, and they sweep out toxins from the air. They're beautiful formaldehyde, benzene, carbon monoxide, I can't even say some of these things, and chloroform, so if you're going to be chloroformed, you just need Sounds like chloroformed um, And they are very good at ex um, repelling spider mites. And okay. I have one more, Gerber daisies, if you're not sleeping very well, you should put Gerber daisies next to your nightstand because they're continually releasing oxygen into the air and they help you breathe and sleep better and they're uh, helpful for people who have sleep apnea or breathing disorders and they will get you. Off and um, off to sleepy land. Well, you know, so I thought those were kind of fun. Would your cats have, eat them? My cat doesn't, but some cats no. will. There, yeah. there used to be, uh, about 15 years ago, part of uh, one of the new trends in food, the garnish, were flowers. Yes, I love that flowers. That were edible flowers, and the flowers had digestive uh, powers, so it was all good. Mm -hmm. So plants, uh, oh, we already know. I mean, are you kidding me? I personally believe that the cures for the major disease in the are world already here. lie in the plants, particularly uh, in the parts of the world we don't look I mean, the Amazon. We've right. already, we've know, already right? studied It's that. in a mushroom, you guys, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I agree. They're in mushrooms. Uh, a mushroom. I agree. Oh, yeah. All right. I <laughs> Deb just asked you um, a <laughs> question about that, actually. So, Natalie... Do you drug people? I don't know what that means. You know what? I... Please She's not a doctor. 
So. Okay, so. Natalie has an interview coming up next, yes. and after that is Ken, and then we have fitness with Brian Tracy with, and Cammy Craig. So wow. huge and SPC after that. Today. So stay tuned. We'll be back very shortly. Over the hump day. Hump 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 day. So Hey everybody, thanks for sticking with us. You are watching The Wake Up Call here on LoadedTV.com, coming to you live from Reno, Nevada. Get your questions ready because we have uh, the great pleasure here of um, having a guest, Mr. Johnny Larkins, who is the Chief Executive Officer and you created this app of the Arm Safety Button. How are you this morning? Uh, pretty good. It's good. cold out. <laughs> it is. So before we get started in on all the safety and what you're doing, can you just tell me uh, quickly where you come from, a little bit about yourself, and how you came to this place in your life right now. Well, um, I was born in Ontario, California, um, raised in Alabama for a little while, mm -hmm. lived in San Diego most of my life, um, had odd jobs from either singing or uh -huh. I was a school to be a chef, and, um, you know, just a regular grunt just trying to make a living and take care of his family. Right. And I have six kids and nine grandkids. Wow. Don't tell anybody. Okay. We won't <laughs> tell anybody. Shh. You guys so then, now, how did you come to live in Reno and start this this um, safety? It's pretty much a safety mecca. We're going to talk all about it. But how did you get to this point? Well, unfortunately, uh, it came at a cost of um, a tragedy in our family. Mm -hmm. My daughter was turning 13, um, and she got raped on her birthday. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, she was dragged around the corner to a dumpster, and by her 29-year-old neighbor. Mm -hmm. And when she tried to call 911. She had a hard time because she was stressed out, freaking sure. out, scared, trying to unlock her phone because there's a code to her phone. And she kept messing up because she was freaking out trying to hit 911. Mm -hmm. The hard part about that is uh, it took 45 minutes for the police to show up because all the mistakes she made trying to get to her yeah. phone. And the guy almost got away with it because she wasn't sure exactly what he looked like, but she knew he lived in the apartments. Right. And she wow. said it was a... Uh, Hispanic guy that had raped her, which in San Diego, California, what happened at, 70% uh, of people lived there were Hispanic. Right, sure. And Anywhere, really. Yeah, yeah. and the, the police pulled two people out of their homes, out of their apartments, and she pointed to the guy and said, I think it was that guy. Because she said she think it was that guy. Yeah. They made a deal with him to, if he admit to his uh, dragging her through court, because she was already traumatized, yeah. that he'd get a light sentence. Well, he got three years in jail, four years probation, and got kicked out of the country because he's illegal in the first place. Good. Okay. And this happened to a lot of women um, because they can't identify the guy. Yeah. And, uh, so much. You're right. Yeah. And even with a restraining order, the police cannot act because we have no proof that the person actually did it. Right. And the a, proof. Proof. Because yeah. unfortunately, women have lied in the past about a guy attacking sure. them or, or stalking them because they want to get revenge. Right. made it harder for women that had real concerns. Mm. So... Mm -hmm. For me as a parent, I just couldn't let it go. I, there had to be a way for us to make sure those that harm us are held accountable. I, I agree. So, so now, w let's get to the app. You, you do much more than just this app, though. This is, this is like the band-aid, or as it were, something to help. But you're really into helping people in a broader sense. Am I right? Absolutely. Um, I think that we have a right to walk our, out of our homes, mm -hmm. walk our dog, walk with our kids, play with our kids without being accosted or harassed or attacked. Yeah. You know, um, our kids should be able to go to school without being followed by some creepy guy or some pedophile mm. down the road. You know, we should have these rights. Yeah. And because we've given up on the system pretty much to protect us, you know, we hide out in our homes. You know, we yeah. walk around carrying weapons like guns yeah and the wrong people want to get hurt yeah so I invented this app to make sure we can um, get our streets back okay let's get to the app because I want I don't want to lose time now this is really a great thing and you're gonna explain it to us let's say really quickly that I want to give you guys the website now this is not this is yes he's based out of Reno right now but you guys can get this anywhere you can go online and get this app it is really really amazing and I'm gonna give it to you right now it's the arm safetybutton.com. It's easy, so it's uh, just arm, A-R-M, safetybutton.com, all one word. Now let's talk about the app. Okay. Well, um, basically, we walk around today with iPhones and mm -hmm. uh, Androids. Yep. It's basically a 24-hour surveillance system. It has a camera. Mm -hmm. It has GPS. It has flashlight. 
So my system activates that all at one time, so it brings up your GPS, your camera, your flashlight. Amazing. I'm touching the icon. Yeah. And it, no, your phone goes to sleep. Right, right. Yeah. This will not go to sleep in this mode. So. So there's the camera. Let's just show you right there. Yeah. So now, what happens? Let's just say I'm 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 at my work. I'm at my job, and I'm leaving, and it's a uh, you know twilight, and someone comes up to me and tries to accost me in some way. Well, How does it work? First, we will be proactive. When you're ready to leave work, touch the icon that says arm on it, and it brings up your safety system. Okay. So before you walk out, you're ready to go. If it's dark outside. It says flashlight. You touch the flashlight one time. Okay. So you're not walking around in the dark. Right. If someone come up try to accost you, you push it one time. Slide icon one time up. Right. Alarm sounds are taking pictures of your attacker. This I love. The pictures of the attacker. Yeah. Sends that and the address away from the phone to our database and wow. to the police department. Wow. So that way we can identify who the, who the person is. Who it is. And you're also, can you tell me, um, so it takes a pic, so it, you've got the light, you've got the alarm. You're taking a picture of your attacker at the same time, but also you're honing in on where you are, right? Exactly. It brings up 911, and if you don't know where you are, you go back one time on the on the phone. Yeah. It gives you your address where you're calling from, so please get there sooner. That's amazing. And within three seconds. Sometimes you don't know where you know, and like you said, I think what's interesting is that you already, how can you think clearly? when all this is going on and your fear is rising up and and this really takes care of that for you absolutely and when the police go into the database uh we have an instant report they just touch it one time and get that report okay that report holds um information like your name your address mercy contact number right it has a picture of who the police come to rescue it also has four or five pictures of anybody that's in front of you so that way they can be identified. Yeah. So GPS hmm. doesn't lie in neither of those pictures. And I want people to have some sense of security when they walk around. Yeah. Instead of using 1940 technology or re relying on your memory. Yeah. We have a photo of the person. That's um, amazing. There was a news um, about a rapist in the area. Yeah. And they say he's 20 to 30 years old, you know, right. average height. Yeah, I, right. Wearing a blue yeah. sweatshirt. Yeah, and, I agree. And now we're trying to raise money for bad women to get the phones. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Let me just do, we, we only got a couple minutes, so we're going to do a couple things. I want to say, all of us saying, um, uh, it's this amazing, uh, well done, great app. Um, they're getting this, I'm getting this for my kid's phone. Great idea from Anne. Mary says she's so impressed. Is this worldwide? In other words, is, can she get this in England or is it just in America right now? Is U.S. and Canada? At the end of U.S. The, and Canada, at, okay. At the end of the month, they may be getting it in England and Australia. End of the month, you guys. Awesome. Let's tell, let me give me really quick because I don't want, if you want to get this, you're going to go to armsafetybutton.com. And can you, now you said we could get a discount. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Put in capital, capital K. As in uh, King, okay. N as in Nancy, C as in Charlie, uh -huh. 27. Okay. And they get a half price deal, courtesy of the show. Woo! And Motive TV. If they want to donate. Um, Let's talk about this really quick. Yeah. Now, this is a separate issue. Now, the Arm Safety app, we're, you're trying to get this for battered women. Absolutely. And so you're trying to raise money. So where, how can people donate? Uh, they go to Indiegogo, which is I-N-D-I-E-G-O. G O G O yeah go go dot com okay and put in the search bar stop violence everywhere okay and there's a picture of the young lady where it's supposed to be stopping violence and just donate whether it's two dollars five dollars hundred right. dollars we're trying to get the phone for the women that needs protection right they can't afford it yeah so, that we, so they're trying to you guys are trying to it's not just the app because you can give them the app but they're trying to actually get money for phones exactly right because they can't I think afford that's the awesome. phones so we begging for your help you know. Um, it's not a puppy, but it's it's a woman that's in need, yeah. a child in need, yeah. and please help us out, you know, and see if we can take our streets back. So let's give you, this is, what they're doing is they're raising money to get uh, women that are uh, victims of domestic violence a phone that can have the app. The app's already on there. He's, Johnny's giving that away for free. But, um, so you can go to Indie, I-N-D-I-E, go-go, G-O-G-O, dot com, donate just a couple bucks. Uh, full respect uh, to this to this guy, and you said that they're saying you're a super dad uh, from Lee and Paul in New York. They really like you. So, and put, put oh. the search bar. so when you go to this uh, Indiegogo.com, you go stop violence everywhere, and you will be helping women in need um, to uh, get phones that they can have the arm safety button uh, put on there. Again, this guy Johnny goes around. He's he's got on campuses. 
uh, uh, domestic violence and um, you know is all in Reno but also on campus where women we've had it some tragedies here in Reno with people girls getting stolen right off their couches or and or just right out of you know walking out the door and getting snatched so um, really amazing work I want you to go and get this app it is the arm safety button dot com you can also contact Johnny if you want to uh, he's got that right there on the screen Johnny dot Larkins L A R K I N S at armsafetybutton.com if they want to donate, help out, talk to you about anything, right? Anything. And like I said, it's indiegogo.com. Put in the search bar, stop violence everywhere. Yeah. And donate what you can, or even if you donate your uh, unused smartphone. Amazing, you so, guys. Uh, anything to make sure our family are safe. Yeah, I, I, I just think that's great. And um, everyone loves you. And um, yes, the police do receive the. Everybody, it's all connected. So that's. Uh, Johnny's created this app so that it's fully functional. There's no little gaps in the no gaps. system. <laughs> All right. We have to go, but uh, please, uh, you know, donate if you can at the Indiegogo.com for uh, phones. Uh, if you want to get this app, you get a half price if you put in K. KNC and it's all capitalized, oh. 27 and you get half price. Half price off this app just exclusively here at LoadedTV.com. You guys, we have to go. Uh, we have Ken up next with Tech. You're an amazing guest. Maybe we'll have you on again. You're watching The Wake Up Call here on LoadedTV.com. And welcome back. You're watching LoadedTV.com. This is The Wake Up Call, and I'm Ken McKim with your Tech Bytes update. So today, let's talk about oral health, specifically toothbrushes and flossing. Now, there are a lot of electric toothbrushes on the market now, at least a lot compared to when I was a kid. Always fascinated by the electric toothbrush even back then. Uh, but I didn't really take it seriously, and so mom and dad eventually just put me back on a regular manual toothbrush because I couldn't be trusted to not just play with it as a toy. But as an adult, I fully appreciate the benefits of having an electric toothbrush versus a manual. And at some point, I don't remember when, it was probably about seven years ago now actually, that I got introduced to the Sonicare line of electric toothbrushes. Now they are pricey, make no mistake about it. And they're, they're not a budget item. I had to replace mine recently because my original Sonicare, the Sonicare Elite, that lasted for years and years, finally gave up. And it's like, okay. As soon as that happened, I was like, no, a little bit panicked because I have pretty good genetics when it comes to my teeth. But I went eight years between dental appointments with absolutely no cavities, and I owe that. I, I give all the credit to having a Sonicare toothbrush. Seriously, I only brush my teeth once a day, and yet eight years between dentist visits, no cavities. So I'm like, okay, I know Sonicare is great. I just had a birthday recently. Uh, my birthday is in February, and I got couple of gifts of birthday money because unlike some people that get weirded out by getting cash or gift cards, I love cash and I love gift cards. So I uh, used, <clears throat> used that uh, birthday funding uh, plus some uh, Best Buy rewards certificates that I had yet to cash in and between the two of them I got a new Sonicare toothbrush and I got a water pick because I hate flossing. And everyone that I've talked to from my parents' generation always went on and on about how awesome water picks were, so I figured I'd give it a shot. First things first, let's talk about the Sonicare. I got the next step up from the original Sonicare Elite that I had, and it was called the Sonicare Easy Clean. Now, they really hyped this up on their website. They, uh, 
all about next generation this and it's lighter weight and it's slimmer more ergonomic design and they go on and on and on about how fantastic the easy clean is and again it's in the pricier end of Sonicare uh, products but I wasn't paying for it so I said okay I'll go ahead and get that I got that I brought it home plugged it in overnight turned it on the next day and it sucked <laughs> there's no other way to say it it was horrible it was like I had someone who was who had come down with the swine flu and who was so weak, but yet they were trying to brush my teeth <laughs> with a brush that was too soft. And it was just awful. I was like, why? Are, I could vibrate the darn thing faster than this thing could. It made a horrible noise and it didn't do what my elite did. I was so disappointed. I ended up getting this version of the Sonicare, which is called the Sonicare Essence. It looks a lot like my old Elite. It's, uh, it's bulkier, it's definitely heavier, and I just had a good feeling about it because it looked so much like my old Sonicare Elite. So sure enough, I took it home. As soon as I got it out of the box, I figured, well, they might have charged it at least a little bit. So I clicked the on button and boom! It was like having a power mower in your hand. I don't know how else to describe it. it the, the buzzing of it was so fierce and it was so dramatic, a difference between that and the Easy Clean. I mean, this thing, it vibrates so hard, you could use it as a back massager. It's crazy. It's like, okay, this is fantastic. This is what a Sonic toothbrush is supposed to feel like. So, much happier with that. You know what the best part is? The Essence is $20 cheaper than the Easy Clean. $20 cheaper. So, I exchanged it, got money back, and got a vastly superior toothbrush for the effort. If you're going to get an electronic toothbrush and you're looking at the Sonicare line, I now know from personal experience the Easy Clean sucks out loud and the essence is fantastic and you'll save yourself $20. It's so uh, like $69.99 as opposed to $89.99 for the Easy Clean series. So now let's talk about the second part of this. Flossing. Flossing sucks out loud as well. Nobody likes to do it. I am hardly alone in this in America. So I've tried. I've tried all the different flosses they have. You know, they have the Easy Glide ones that look like a strip of some sort of funky tape instead of the, the normal thread looking floss. And I, I mean, they're all nice enough, I guess. But seriously, sticking your fingers in your mouth with twine wrapped around them has never been fun for anyone. I decided, okay, I've got to do this. I'm getting older. I don't have dental insurance right now. I need to start taking better care of my teeth. I can't, uh, and especially my gums too, I can't just take that for granted anymore. So I took the plunge with my birthday funding and I got a water pick. And I didn't just get any old generic water pick, I got a water pick water pick. I know that it's kind of a generic term nowadays, like Kleenex is a generic term for, you know, facial tissue. Uh, but all the reviews that I had read said that water pick brand is simply one of the best you can get. So I got it, I took it out of the package and went, I don't even know where to start with this thing. It looked so weird to me. It has a water reservoir that you fill up and it gives you about 30 seconds worth of water usage. You plug it in, you charge it for a full 24 hours beforehand. There are two tips that come with the water pick. Uh, one of them is colored blue and the other one is clear. The difference between the two, as I found out, is the forcefulness of the water pressure. Tried it with the blue one, which is the regular water pressure, and it worked fine, felt great, felt really good on my gums. I ended up filling it up twice though. Um, 30 seconds, I think, is too short to get all of your teeth upper and lower. So. 
you'll probably find yourself filling up the reservoir two times and spending about 30 seconds each on the bottoms and the, and the tops and working the inside of the gum line as well as the outside, of course. Then I tried it later on with the, uh, the clear pick insert in the top there. And the clear one is the hard water pressure. Wow, <laughs> they mean it. They, they tell you in the literature that comes with it, you should start with the blue one to get used to using it because the, the hard water pressure, the higher water pressure tip really is something. You know that you're, you're forcing water in between your teeth. <laughs> and uh, worked, worked like a charm though, amazing. And it actually felt kind of good to have the water, you know, massaging my gums. It was pretty cool. Now, the recommended way you do this is you'd use the water pick first, and then you use the toothbrush after. And that's exactly what I did. And it feels great. My mouth feels fantastic. And I know for a fact that the water pick is going to be much better for me than flossing was. For one simple reason. I will use it. I like using the water pick. I hated flossing. Uh, this is so much gentler on your gums, even with the, uh, the high pressure nozzle on the end of it. It's still much gentler, I think, on your gums than trying to shove twine in between your teeth. Uh, and it's just easier to do instead of trying to get your fingers in your mouth. You've got this slim little, you know, appendage thing that you just kind of move around in there. It's much easier to, to get around and get to the back they're really hard to reach places. So I'm going to use it. It's easy to use. I like using it. And it's kind of fun, although I make a mess. You, you would think that a five-year-old lived in our bathroom because water got everywhere. Crazy amounts of water because I'm trying to, you know, get used to using it and, and letting enough water kind of, you know, drain out of your mouth as you're doing it. Otherwise, you choke on the water. Um, and the spray can get a little bit out of control when you're not used to handling it so it was it was insane and, and a mess but I'm getting better. I highly recommend both these things I would say. Get the Sonicare toothbrush if you can afford to do it. Look at it as an investment to save yourself possibly some larger dental bills down the road uh, and the same with the water pick. Uh, so that's it for today on Tech Bites but as usual don't go anywhere. The Wake Up Call has many more great stories just ahead for you. And of course, send me your questions and comments to Ken at LoadedTV.com. Or you can reach out to me over on Twitter at Wake Up Call Tech, as well as Facebook and G+. Until next time, I'm Ken McKim, and you take care. I'm Tracy Perry with my husband Brian Perry and Morning. of course we have an amazing guest here. Before we get to her, and I'm sure a lot of people already recognize who we're talking about, we just want to give a thank you to all of you who went to our fitness page and liked it. The challenge is on. My husband has been in the gym training five days a week, so proud of him. How are you feeling? Um, today I'm sore. Uh, <laughs> I'm Actually I'm sore every day. We train two hours a night, um, kicking, punching, scratching, clawing. I fight like a girl. Um, but in five weeks, I think that's going to be definitely different. I'm having a good time. 
I'm going to make weight. I'm dropping about, I don't know, 20 pounds or so to make weight for the weight class I'm trying to get in. So things are going good. Continue to go to our Facebook page and like it, please. That's where you can do all of the checking up on him. Um, he's doing a really good job of documenting it, and I can't even tell you how proud I am of him. But moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we are so thrilled to have with us Cami Craig. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Yay. Thank you so much for having me. Guys. We love right. you. Thank you. Cami is very well known in the Reno area. She owns Cami Craig Fitness. Um, she has her own facility now, and we want to talk to her about that. But first, we want to know where did the inspiration come from to open up a facility that is just yours, where you can bring people in and train them as you see fit. Right. Um, my main inspiration was to help as many people as I could in our community, um, and know that. Having my own facility would, would, would ignite a lot of what my passion is, and, and, and that's just helping people. Um, a lot of moms, I wanted to touch with um, those, those guys or those girls, and then athletes. Um, since I am an athlete at heart, I used to play volleyball and basketball. Um, to have a big facility with turf and um, a nice big weight room is, was inspiring for me to have. Um, and also, I wanted my kids and my family, my husband and my two boys, to, to be there with us at all times. Well, I noticed just from the people that we know that come to your facility, they're jazzed by the time they leave. They're, like, <laughs> pumped up. They're ready to start the day. I mean, there's yeah. really a feeling um, that you really care about them when you come I, I mean, I know this is huge, but I just love everyone that walks through that door. And another, you just, you just prompted me on, I just don't feel that people get loved enough. And so to, to have a place where we can work on our fitness and then also show them that I care and other people care about them, it brings a huge, huge energy to the place for... You know what's so interesting about that is I just posted something yesterday on Facebook about about coaches. I don't know if you saw it or not, but it's about, it about coaches and trainers and, and you know, basically the definition of a coach and what a coach should be like and how they, how sh how they should take care of you. And it really is about getting close to somebody that you're working with and really coming to know them so that you can understand what their goals and their dreams are and actually getting into their mind and their heart so as far true. as what motivates them. You were, I mean, you couldn't have nailed it. Um, it's about being their friend. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. It, and I noticed, like, that there's not a lot of people, or there's a lot of people out there that aren't just loved how they should be. The, you know, yeah. so for us as coaches right. to be that person, right. I'm, I'm grateful. Well, the reason why I even posted that is because I kept hearing over and over and over, you know, people just become numbers and become yeah. a dollar. And, no, you're right. And, and I hate that. You no, know? me too. And so I'm like, you know, you guys go make your decisions on who you want to be with, but if, if that's not satisfying you and want some help, that's right. somebody's going to, you know, kid glove you and and really be there for you 24-7, then let us know. That's right. Yeah. And, and that's another reason um, I, I mold CCF off of it's month to month. It's mm -hmm. not, if you're not bound in contracts, you yeah. make that choice, you know, and you can, you can have that relationship with us as well, and it's not about the dollar sign. Of yeah. course, we have to pay the bills. Right, right. <laughs> But yeah, especially with a facility like yours. I mean, you have, I mean, the equipment that you have in there, and the, and you do a lot of, there's a lot of CrossFit going on, but you also have a lot of strength and conditioning going on. Absolutely. You have a lot of just groundwork going on. Yeah. Um, you got some big old tires up in there. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. All. So, um, so who, like, what kind of, what kind of people? I mean, you say moms and then athletes. So, give us the range. Yeah. You know, give um, us a range of people. I have. A girl that's in my switch program right now, she's 100 plus pounds overweight. Mm -hmm. And she's running around with dude that's a professional bull, bullfighter. And it's just amazing go. to see the dynamic. Because in, in a normal place, you know, he would probably get irritated or she would feel intimidated. Right, right. Because they're both, and you know, one's running circles or one's too slow. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's actually amazing that they're not getting irritated and they're both getting their same, the good workout in. So that's what I try to do as much as I can is to, um, is to help people understand that it's their workout. Mm -hmm. So focus on that. Don't right. worry about anyone else around them. Absolutely. Use their energy yeah. and allow it to be contagious. But um, so it goes from the overweight to um, the bulimic and anorexic. Um, it goes to the athlete. It goes to the girl that aspires to be an athlete. Um, it goes all the way from my husband that looks like you. I mean, just big and yoked, but um, also doesn't want to be just a bodybuilder. He right. wants right. to be an athlete at too. Because too. Yeah. if I say, hey, let's go run 5K, heck he's no. like, yeah, yeah exactly. No. <laughs> but, and that's exactly why we're doing, we're, we're doing the fitness challenges and things like that, because yeah. I'm actually going to transition. This will probably be my last year of like competitive bodybuilding, sure. and then transition more into that, that All-American or that, that more well 
all around it. So I'll be trying to come in and do some some more CrossFit. Good, and, you know, good. But this definitely, you know, the, the, the different training styles, I mean, it shows. So whether you're a bullfighter or you're 100 pounds overweight, she's probably giving him a run for the money half the time. You're right. You know, so. You're right. But those are the best clients to have. I mean, we love to have those people that are that are, are so motivated to help themselves and their self-esteem and, and what they're about right here. Our chat is going crazy. Before we get to that, I want to ask Cammie about a special program that you're involved with now. It's called the Huge Loss Program. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so Huge Loss, we, we put an application out online, Facebook first, and then um, and then it goes to our website. Mm -hmm. And we're asking for to anyone who's 100 pounds overweight, okay? And then they come in that needs help, that they they just don't know how to eat, they don't know what to work out, they just may feel intimidated completely from this whole fitness arena. Um, so actually we teamed up with Channel 4 now mm -hmm. this year, and so they're going to be our live footage on the story for I think either 6 or 12 months. Awesome. And um, it's these. I want these people, whether they're a male or female, we'll, we'll probably pick two females, right. two males, right. and um, um, help them along and just build a healthier lifestyle for them. Um, we go grocery shopping with them. We go. Um, we take them on walks. Uh, we meet their family. So it's a pretty. It's a pretty dynamic thing. And um, Cami Craig Fitness. It says inspired training is one of our right. taglines. Right. I got inspired by Biggest Loser. Speaking of inspired, we've got a question here. It says, Cammie, what inspires you to keep training when you're having a tough day? Uh, that's a great question. Um, my gym time is my peaceful time. So when I'm having a tough day, <laughs> I get in, I grind. You yeah, know, I'm on yeah. a run or I'm yeah. I'm lifting weights or I'm jump roping. So it's our therapy. It's our therapy. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, Hugh, to answer your question, Brian's fight is April 13th at Reno Event Center. Uh, what is your favorite part of training? Oh, my favorite part of training is um, seeing the confidence levels rise. You know, whether it be a 100-pound chick overweight or dude that's just trying to be a better athlete, mm -hmm. um, they walk in a certain way, um, but by like three, four, five weeks, six weeks oh, yeah. deep into it, their smiles are better, their clarity in their skin is mm -hmm. awesome. I just, I And they're bragging about that. the clothes they can now wear. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm all, yeah. oh, so you're wearing tiny pants, Right, huh? right. <laughs> I'm in my skinny jeans. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love it. What is the most important thing people should... These are great questions, Ooh, guys. Love yeah. it. What is the most important thing people should work on for general health? I, I would believe... Amy, yes. I would believe that it, it's just your... your no, I don't like this word diet. I can't stand it because it's... You'll your fall nutrition. off of it. But your lifestyle. Yes, your nutrition. I think yes. that's the number one. <laughs> who, who might that be? I have no idea. What's Do that? Do you work Jessie? with people on diets? <laughs> Do we work with people on diets? That's the whole point. Get people eating correctly. Get people in the gym working out correctly, training correctly. Yeah. Everything starts with your nutrition, though. You have, and three, you have three people in the fitness industry right here who will tell you again and again and again and again, your physique is, is made in the kitchen. Yes, That's right. the majority of it. You can do, you know, squats. You can do sit-ups. You can do whatever exercise you want to do to target an area. And if your diet is not correct, you're not going to see the results that you need to see. Right, absolutely. Lee, yo, Brian, can I come and train with you for the fight? As long as you don't whoop my ass. Uh, <laughs> the I, if you're here local, yeah, go down to um, to Reno Academy, Reno Academy of, combat. of Combat because me, hey, go, come on down, me? yeah, Reno Academy of Combat down on Mill Street here in Reno. Um, sure, uh, you can train with me, and depending on what level you are, I'll either learn from you or I will hurt from you. So. <laughs> And then the next question, Cammy, how how much do you charge for personal training? You don't have to is answer. There, um, is there a, is there <laughs> do, email me. Yes, yeah. Cammy at CammyCraigFitness.com, and then also you can go to the website CCFReno.com, and then our Facebook on the fan page mm -hmm. is Facebook backslash Cammy Craig Fitness. So check out those sites, and I'll I'll be more than willing to yeah. give you those. Yeah. Because typically, things. when you have when you have somebody who's going to work with you hands on like that, it becomes more of a custom type situation than it does just we got a, a a la carte menu. Yeah. Um. It's it because it depends on if you want nutritional help, if you want nutritional help in, in gym time, if you want personal coaching and things like that. So it's going to vary. Um. A lot of people think that it that it's really really expensive to do, but it really isn't, especially when you start thinking about your health and, hey, and longevity. If they would stop eating out so much, right? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. You know. Okay. <laughs> so, so this Friday, nobody go out, and uh, Saturday morning, go to the gym. And if you're in town, go to Cami Craig Fitness. Someone wants to know if you model. Do you model? You know, I do. I'm with you. Um, I get on stage, <laughs> and I'll do fitness um, bikini competitions. I 
if, if anyone asks me to, to do an ad for them and stuff, as, as long as it's appropriate and within my morals, um, I'll definitely do it. So, go. yeah, I love, I love the camera. Ha, 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 I'm going. <laughs> Who's going? Terry, where are you going? Tell us where you're going. You going to the fight? I'm training with you. Or are you going to Cammy Craig Fitness? <laughs> Hopefully you're going. Maybe we'll have the fight at... 3865 Yeah, maybe... Hey. What, what's the address? Let's do it. 3865 Marilona, Suite 104. You want, you want to come down? You got a cage? No, but I can make one. We'll make a cage? Do <laughs> the fight. Awesome, Terry. All right. Hey, so if you want to... If you actually got, are going to the fight and you want to get tickets, go to cagetix.com and it lists the fight. You scroll down to the fight and you can actually find me. Go to Brian Perry. Pick your seat. And, um, and at the fight, it's um, Ultimate Reno Combat on April 13th. Once you click on that, you go to the fighter, Brian Perry, and you can see that on Getting Fit with Brian and Tracy at um, on Facebook, our page. Please go and like it. And thank you so much, Cammie, yeah, for being thanks, here. Yeah, thanks, Cammie. That was great. Oh, I great. had so much fun with you guys. Thank you. All we'll right. be right Welcome back to Wake Up Con. We have a loaded show all the time here on oh, Live TV. Oh, oh. wake up, wake up. So, wake up, you sleepy head. Cheer up, cheer up. <laughs> anyway, cheer I want to talk to you guys about the telethon going on on yep. Sunday for the Sunday. Oh, yes, Yay. we're going to be there. Okay. Yep. So, you guys can actually watch it, the behind the scene action of this telethon on loadedtv.com, Sunday at 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Perfect. It'll be really fun. Um, it's hosted by a lot of different people. We'll all be there. So, oh, Bill friend, Brown will be there. Oh, right. friend, he was on our show. Buddy. Bill Brown yes, is hosting. Was. Ryan Kern, um, Jamie Hayden. Okay, so we'll throw it to this clip. Okay. And then um, we'll talk a little bit more about it when we come back. Okay. Woof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Brandy DeQuinn, joined by Tom Jacobs, and we're here at the Fox Studios, and we're here to talk about the fourth annual telethon this weekend. This weekend is our fourth annual Pledges for Pets telethon. Uh, you know, telethons for animals have done very well across the nation, so when we had the opportunity to work with uh, Fox and My21 TV on doing one, it was a natural for us to come and do it. We're in the studio now that's not quite set up yet for it, but will be in the, in the next couple of days. And uh, just, it's an awesome opportunity for us to talk about what we do at the SPCA of Northern Nevada, talk about our programs, showcase everything we do, showcase some adoptable animals, and really it's, it's, an, it's both a fundraiser and an educational opportunity for the SPCA of Northern Nevada. So how long is this fundraiser and when does it start and end? Starts at uh, 5 o'clock on Sunday, March 10th, and it runs oh. until 9 p.m. on My21 TV. And, uh, you know, it's a, a very quick four hours for us. It seems like a long time, but it goes very fast. But we're able to get an awful lot of information in that four-hour period. Like I say, we have adoptable animals. We'll talk about our different programs like foster care, uh, spay-neuter programs, uh, planned giving, you know, a lot of different things that we talk about on the air just to give people an idea what we do. And, of course, then they have an opportunity to call in, make a pledge, and support our programs at the SPCA. And you guys also have a partnership going on with Bullies? We do. Uh, in fact, we have some Bullies parties going on during the telethon at all seven Bullies locations. Wow. 
Uh, Bullies is a wonderful partner of ours. They also do uh, Chihuahua races. Which I'm going to do. Uh, in May. Not me. Uh, I mean, which, my dogs. Which is, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, I want to see you down there racing those two. I, mean, I might win. I don't yeah, know. You never know. But uh, so we're going to do that in May, and that's part of uh, Bullies' uh, partnership with us. And so we have a lot of corporate sponsors that work with us in, in making this happen. And it's, it's just very successful. It's, it's an op- like I said, an opportunity for us to, to really show the community what we do and and how we're doing it, and then like I say, showcase some more animals. Sounds like an extremely great cause. Uh, so tell them again the day it is and the times. It's uh, Sunday, March the 10th, from 5 to 9 p.m. on My21 TV. That's four hours, you guys, and it's all right. just for pets. <laughs> just for pets. And by the way, our shelter is going to be open until 9 o'clock that night as well. Ooh, nice. So, uh, you know, come on down and uh, maybe find an animal that uh, will will meet you, will, will be a good family. Yeah, maybe they, family they fall in love with one during the telethon. You never know. They could. Absolutely. All right. Well, we'll see you guys then. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Um, beige one. And my question simply is, what? how much is that doggy on the TV? Oh, he's so free. On with the way. <laughs> That's right. They're so cute. Yeah, you guys, uh, why adopted. we're doing all of this? Because we are going to be streaming live at the event on Sunday. You can watch us on Fox, right? Well, yeah, yeah but um, LoadedTV.com, you, if they go to LoadedTV.com website, the one you're on now, you guys can see all the behind the scenes cool yeah. fun action. We like to get so, deep yeah. in there. So yeah. I encur- <laughs> yes, we do. We do. So we I like to encourage dig deep. you guys to um, go to LoadedTV.com Sunday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. on uh, Pacific yeah. Standard Time. Yeah. So about the question about John Murphy, somebody yeah. was asking if he's going to be hosting. Well, he's going to be answering telephones, and he's also there interviewing the about the dogs, yeah. just as you saw so, on there. Yeah. So he will be there, that's for sure. Perfect. Yes. So hopefully we can snag a quick Are interview with him. Well, Sam says, uh, I ask him, am I going to be there? Yes, yeah. I will be there. With we'll him. all be there. I'll, I'll even have my collar on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll wear a collar if you do. <laughs> and we then um, be about careful. the Chihuahua dog racing at oh, yeah. Bullies, I didn't mean I was going to race the Chihuahuas. I was going to race my, I was thinking about racing my own. I have a half Chihuahua, half Pomeranian, and a half Chihuahua, half Pitbull, so maybe they could race in the Chihuahua race. Uh, here's what a, a uh, <laughs> question uh, from Kev. What time will we start streaming? That's a good question. We're 5 o'clock. Start at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So adjust for so wherever from you are. 5 to 9 p.m., you guys. Uh, just load it to me.com. You get all the behind the scene action. Yeah. And that is this Sunday. So make sure to log on. You can't miss this. It'll be really cute and fun and it's so be for super a great fun. cause. It is great. All right. Uh, we're going to take a really quick break and when we come back, we're going to do events and talk about the Polo Lounge. We'll be right back. Hello, yeah. welcome wow. back. Wow, what a great show we had. Good job, you guys. What Good job. I'm going to give us a round of applause. We had a no, good show as always, huh? Golly, they're getting so good at you can't even get a ticket to this place. Okay. <laughs> and a special shout out to Blog TV. And yeah. yes. And yes, we, honey, you can embrace your chihuahua too. That those bullies chihuahua Hold down. Tonight. Tonight. I am. Tonight we've got a great show. The, the amazing CC Gable will be there. Wow. And we're going to talk about an event coming up on March 23rd. Uh, uh, CC's husband, Clay Alder, is a great, 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 great grandson. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Mozart. And there is a guy who did a documentary in search of Mozart and in search of Beethoven. He'll be here showing those films Excellent. at the Nevada Museum of Art on the 23rd of March. So we're going to wow. talk a little bit about that event. And it's a limited seating, and that's it's got a small theater there. But uh, this is uh, this is a very internationally acclaimed uh, a bit of film. So uh, we'll talk cool. more about that. So Cece Cece will sing. sing. Okay. Cece will sing. Corky will sing. So that's tonight. Give them the time. Sing. Tonight <laughs> uh, we on We start at 5 TV. o'clock. Okay. We start from 5 Pacific to 6. Standard time. Live at the Polo Lounge. You cannot miss it. Uh, so you can watch it or right you can here. go down there. Yeah, go down there. Oh, well, you're always welcome. And there's two things. You know, there's uh, the great cocktails and uh, no smoking. To no smoking. No bar. smoking. I never love been, that. Never been in a no smoking bar. And uh, the then the great Corky Bennett uh, starts at 7 o'clock tonight and does the. Uh, Wednesdays with Corky. Yeah. Awesome. Wait, you guys find it. You go to LoadedTV.com, and at the top, there's 
something to click on that oh, says, thank you for telling buy the yes. Polo Lounge. Yep. So you click on the Polo Lounge at the very top, and that'll take you to the show. And, and also, you know, you're more than welcome to chat in, because we were, last week we got it all up and running. We had just tons of wonderful questions. I have one question for this. Colin, early in the show, said, oh, you want to come and visit my farm. Colin, where is your farm? I, I certainly, I, I am very big into that right okay, now. Okay, uh, we're going to get that. Fact, I'm working on a very big story on GMOs, uh, which I am finding somewhere between interesting and terrifying, to be real honest oh with my. you. Oh, uh, my. And it's a big deal now, and it's just really turning the corner in, in this country. I know it's a lot more prevalent across the pond and in Europe. But, uh, well, Colin, you're in Arrington. I would love to come out and visit That would be awesome. Arrington. I'll come, too. Hey, I, want, I have to say this. i got to give a shout-out to my um, friends who are doing a doubt at the Bruca Theater. It was made uh, into a movie. It is an amazing piece of work. Um, at a, a theater. It is written by John Patrick Stanley. They are going to be running Thursday, Friday, Saturday throughout the month of March. Please, you guys, get out there and see this play. It's eighteen dollars in advance and twenty at the door. And um, you know what? You got to support theater because it's live theater is it's what it's all about. It's anybody who has. Colin, any we're going out to Urington. All right. Well, we, we all I like live theater. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. yeah. I also wanted to, to, to uh, say Stella. She asked about who are uh, from the Polo Lounge last week. We had. Chris Costa on, and the, the board went crazy. I cannot begin to take. Yes. Chris will be back from time to time. He's playing here in town. He's at the El Dorado these days. But, uh, yeah, he's an amazing uh, talent, and we'll have him back from time to time because he, awesome. he started at the Polo Lounge. I wow. literally started in Reno at cool. the Polo Lounge. So another bit of history. And Frank will, I think tonight we're talking about Clint Eastwood, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Wow. Producer. Ooh. I think the piece is on Clint Eastwood. So. Uh, okay. Frank Perez, who's got 57 years of uh, stories to tell. So, and uh, yeah, people can go down there and watch oh. the show live. And, and now yeah, that, local, that's and, and they'll, they'll see they'll see the history surrounding them on the walls. Uh, just amazing stories. So, how about the bonanza? So well, tonight, the and yeah. cup day, Wednesday. three dollars and ninety-five cents. All you can eat spaghetti. It's called oodles of noodles. Yum, yum, yep, yum, yep. yum, yum. We did it. We <laughs> Come on down here to Bonanza. Yep. You can pull yeah. this money out of the bottom of your purses or your couch cushions. $3.95 for all you can yeah, eat. Yeah, it's great. Spaghetti. And you got marinara and a bolognese, and they're all homemade. And it's just oh, the an details endless on the app. bowl. So. The details on the app, really quickly before yeah. we go. It is called armsafetybutton.com. If you go to that website, you will find all the information that you need there. Again, it's oh, on it's right screen. on there, armsafetybutton.com. And uh, John. Johnny Larkin is doing so much in our community and beyond. It will be available on the continent next, at the end of this month, he said, but it is available in the U.S. and Canada right it's now. It's such an amazing app. Yeah. That is so extremely it's great. clever. It's going to save and help a lot of people. That's for sure. And if you go, oh, shoot, I forget what the, what was it? You can get half off. Johnny. Oh, yeah. What was it? K? To get half off the app. Uh, capitalize K, N, as in Nancy, C, as in Charlie. Uh, okay. Capitalize K N C K N C twenty seven, and you will get a half off of that app. Uh, it's not going to be available in France probably for a little bit, but they are working on it. So, uh, Gerald, we'll get on that and we'll let you know. Absolutely. Okay. Sounds awesome. So, oh my gosh. Yes. Polo Lounge. Polo Lounge. There. We'll be there. Come on. Be, be there or be square. Everybody. Yeah, so, absolutely. And if you can't get down there, make sure you watch it. Yeah, yeah. that's what we want you to do. Click on the tab, chat in. And we'll see you fun. tomorrow. Yeah. See you tonight and then tomorrow. And Natalie's absolutely. birthday's coming up. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> get your gifts ready. Explosion. <laughs> yes. It's all, all right, good. you guys. <laughs> thank you. A big, another big shout out to Blog TV. And who else is on there? Oh, okay. Amy, Adam, Colin, Colin there's a million people. Lily, Olive, Gerald, Amy, all good. Wonderful. Please thank you for joining us. Yes. All right, you guys. For everybody out there that doesn't know, 9 to 10 a.m. Pacific okay. Standard Time. Tell your friends. Yes. Monday Seriously, through Friday. Seriously, tell everybody. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Bye from Reno.